is there room on the broom for a teacher like me? Um, well, this is a peg puppet craft for uh, the Room on the Broom story. Um, it's available on the website now. And what I'm going to do in this video is retell the story using the craft. Um, but even if you're not interested in, in using this, uh, you might be want to listen because it's an adapted version of the story, um, which I think is much more suitable for ESL uh, young learners. Um, so I'm going to tell you the story and uh, just enjoy the story. It's a good story. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the witch and this is her cat. Here's her bow and here is her plait. Along comes the wind and it blows off her hat. Down cries the witch and they fly to the ground. They search for the hat, but no hat can be found. Then along comes a dog. Hip hip hooray! It has the hat. It starts to say, I am a dog, as white as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cries the witch, and the dog jumps on. The witch taps her broomstick and whoosh! they are gone over the fields and forests they fly it's very windy up in the sky look at her bow oh no no way the wind blows and the bow flies away down cries the witch and they fly to the ground they search for the bow but no bow can be found then along comes a bird. Hip hip hooray! It has the bow. It starts to say, I am a bird, as red as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cries the witch. And the bird jumps on. The witch taps her broomstick and whoosh, they are gone. Over the reeds and rivers they fly. It's very windy up in the sky. Look at her wand. Oh no, no way. The wind blows and the wand flies away. Down, cries the witch, and they fly to the ground. They search for the wand, but no wand can be found. Then along comes a frog. Hip, hip, hooray. It has the wand. It starts to say, I am a frog, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cries the witch, and the frog jumps on. The witch taps her broomstick and whoosh, they are gone. They fly and they fly, then out of the blue, the witch's broomstick breaks in two. Down go the cat and the dog and the frog. Down go the bird and the witch into the bog. Then along comes a dragon. This isn't good. Witches are its favourite food. Help! cries the witch. Please don't eat me. <laughs> but the dragon says, You are my tea. <gasps> then suddenly, the dragon hears a horrible shout. That's my witch, says a monster. Go away. Get out. The dragon, frightened, runs away. There will be no witch for dinner today. The witch cries, thank you, and the animals cheer. Yay! Now, how will we get out of here? Easy, says the witch. And zip, zap, zoom. They all fly away on a brand new 
room. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you can get these templates and there's black and white versions as well and a whole load of activity ideas for how to practice and learn the story before, during, uh, making it as well as ideas for afterwards. Um, and there's a simplified PowerPoint version of the story on the website. Um, and there's a book craft as well, which is actually another great way to consolidate the language and it even gets kids inventing their own um, sort of versions of it as well. So if you're interested in that, um, check out the Room on the Broom story resource page on the website. The link is in the comments below. All right, um, so thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the story.